hey guys so let's get right into it obviously the first step will be to update your phone to ios 14 the update is large so you just want to plug your phone in while it updates because it takes a while so this is how my phone is looking after the update you can see the new widget feature when i swipe to the right all right so the next thing will be to decide on the aesthetic you are going for and i'm going to check on pinterest for some inspo i know the vibe i'm going for is a fun bow brown aesthetic so just download the pictures to your photos app i'm actually downloading a lot because i can be very indecisive and i just like to have many options so when you're done downloading pictures from pinterest you want to go into your photos app and change your, your wallpaper to your preference and if you're happy with it the next step would be to move the app from your home screen by dragging and dropping them into another screen just so the page is blank and all the apps are out of the way now that the home screen is clear we want to go ahead and add widgets and the two apps you can use are widget smith and color widget there are loads of other apps on the app store but these are the two i downloaded i just opened widget smith and you can add small medium or large widgets so i'm actually going to try and add a medium one and there's lots of options on how to customize your widget you can tweak the fonts the colors and the whole appearance of the widget so as you can see i designed a white one because i think it will go with my background better all right so to add the widget to your home screen tap on your screen and hit the plus at the top right corner of the screen scroll down to see widget smith and click on medium widget so you just want to click the widget and you'll be able to select the one you just created i'm moving on to create this medium one and this one shows the number of steps i've taken in a day and i totally love it so i'm also going ahead to add this medium widget from the motivation app and it's cool because i get to see encouraging motivational messages on my home screen so after creating the widgets you like the next step will be to go ahead and create icons to match your aesthetic and what i do is i use this website to pick the colors from my wallpaper and this is just because i want my icons to match my wallpaper and basically what this site does is it selects five colors from my wallpaper as you can see i'm going to take a screenshot of this page so moving on i go back to the canva app i choose the one by one aspect ratio you want to make sure you choose the one by one aspect ratio and i'm entering the color code of one of the brown shades i got from the website and boom so next is to add my icons i tap on the little plus sign click illustrations and i just search for the instagram icon i change the color to white i'm just kind of moving it around so it looks kind of interesting and i go on ahead to save it to my camera roll go ahead and repeat the same process for all the other apps that i would like to remain on my home screen so basically just play around with it there's actually no add and fast road to this so you can definitely let me know in the comments if you like me to create an in-depth video on how to create app icons for your iphone and i'll definitely make a separate video Alrighty, so to create your icons you open up the shortcut app tap on the plus button on the top right corner of your screen tap on add action tap scripting click on open app click choose to pick the app then tap those three dots on the top right corner and you want to tap add to home screen and here you can name your icons so just because i'm extra i'm using this website yatex.com to change the font of my shortcuts name but this is totally optional and up to you so if you decide to change your font on yatex.com you copy the text you just created and paste it in the shortcut app to rename your icon so after naming your shortcuts the next thing be to add the icon we just created from our camera row so when you are done it automatically saves on your screen and what you do is you click and drag it to add it to your home screen so i go ahead and repeat this same step for all my other icons and this is how my screen is looking when i added all the icons so another cool feature on ios 14 is you can hide pages and to do that you want to press and hold your home screen till you see the plus button appear click on the dots at the bottom of the screen and you can choose to hide and show pages here 
and lastly there's a really cool feature that apple has added is the double tap feature that is available on iphone 8 and newer if i'm not wrong and you just go into your settings go to accessibility click touch and scroll all the way down till you see back tap you can set actions for when you double tap and triple tap the back of your phone and i think this is really really cool it's convenient and it can come in handy sometimes Right, yeah, so that's the video now i customized my phone i really had fun creating this and i'm in love with how my phone looks i like that it looks really really minimalistic and aesthetic at the same time i'm really hoping you found this video helpful if you did please let me know in the comments also take a minute to subscribe like comment and share if you found this video helpful so i'll be leaving the link to my wallpaper and the website i used in creating this aesthetic in the description box bye guys see you in my next one